Friday afternoon, so it's time for a fun segment. We want to talk about beer sales and one of the standouts in that category, and that is Nickel Ultra. Taking a look at the number, sales jumped 22% in 2020 alone. So here to talk a little bit more about this is the person who runs the brand. We want to bring in Ricardo Marquez. He's a vice president of Michelob Ultra. And Ricardo, it's great to see you. The, the, the popularity of Michelob Ultra has significantly jumped here, not only in 2020, but also impressive numbers in 2019 as well. What do you think's behind that? Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, that, that's right. I mean, this is one of the, the hottest brands in the country right now with the trend that has been, to your point, consolidating over the last few years. And we believe that it, it is connected with two of the most important macro trends that are shaping the industry today. One is, of course, premiumization. Consumers are spending more money in premium brands. And of course, Michelob Ultra fits into that category. But then also, we are all uh, looking for brands and products that are uh, better for you, right? Lowering calorie, lowering carbs. So Michelob Ultra perfectly fits those trends. And that's one of the reasons why it's it's doing incredibly well. How much... How much of this is targeted towards uh, women who enjoy drinking beer, especially given the fact that Ultra is committing, what, $100 million to support gender equality in sports? That's right. I mean, first of all, we are incredibly proud of the uh, this commitment, uh, to your point, $100 million dedicated to uh, driving visibility behind women's sports. Uh, we believe that there's a lot more that can and should be done on that front. And it's great to have Michelob Ultra leading, uh, leading uh, on, this, uh, on, on this cause. And then to your point, I mean, connecting back to, to the business, it is the fact that uh, uh, our base of, of drinkers uh, skews uh, as a higher participation with female uh, drinkers versus your average year. So it's great. We're catering to our uh, core base of drinkers. Uh, but then also, look, it is, a, at the end of the day, a category leadership move. We believe that it's good for the beer category to drive participation with female drinkers uh, from all ages and, and, and ethnicities. Ricardo, I bring this up because it's something we've been talking about a lot when it comes to big brands and how they're diversifying their products. We know Michelob launched a new seltzer back in March, and a number of analysts have actually been telling us that the seltzer market has been cooling now over the last couple of months. What are you seeing just in terms of the success so far of your seltzer? And I guess, where do you see that heading going forward? Yeah, well, we, we are incredibly excited with Michelob Ultra Organic Seltzer. We came into this very competitive space uh, earlier this year, and we are seeing tremendous success. I mean, we're building strongholds across many different states across the, across the country. Today, we were able to capture north of their share, three share nationally, uh, and, and we keep seeing that momentum build throughout the summer. And one of the other reasons why we're so excited is because when you look at innovations, one of the most important indicators that uh, you can look at is, of course, repeat rate. And, and uh, it is very encouraging to see that Michelob Ultra Organic Seltzer has the highest repeat rate across all innovations in this space this year, right? So we believe that we're just getting started. We have an incredibly strong brand, a very differentiated proposition, superior proposition, USDA organic, lower calorie and lower carb. And we believe that we can, we're just starting. There's a lot more, there's headroom for growth uh, for Michelob Ultra in this, uh, in this segment. Is there a potential or is there, and correct us if I'm about to get it wrong, a non-alcoholic version? Because we've had guests on the program who are talking about the explosive growth in non-alcoholic beer among especially millennials. Well, it, it is interesting because the, the, uh, the seltzer started in the non-alcoholic space and uh, that's where it became popular. And then there was this transition into the alcoholic beverage space, right? And, and, and we see that, you know, it's successful because uh, it is in many ways, again, connected with what consumers are looking for, lower calories, lower carbs, refreshment, flavors, different flavor combinations. Uh, so it is in many ways uh, connected to those trends. And that's also why uh, seltzers are, are, are doing very well. We're going to... During the pandemic, I, a lot of people were drinking at home. They weren't going out. They weren't spending money at bars or restaurants. What are you seeing now? I guess, what's the breakdown in your business between people consuming their beverages at bars and restaurants versus doing so in their homes? Look, we are uh, encouraged with uh, the progress on, on that front. I mean, we're starting to see uh, the on-premise business, restaurants, bars, 
slowly opening uh, across the country. And, uh, and we are hopefully, of course, we all are for that trend to, uh, to, to, to keep growing at that pace because it means that we're probably turning a corner. Uh, so we, uh, for example, with Miklo Boltra, in the short period of time since this reopening of the country, I can tell you that we have already recouped uh, uh, our business in the on-premise specifically to levels that go back to pre-pandemic, so to 2019. So again, uh, that gets us very excited because we still believe that the recovery, recovery is in its chapter one. There's a lot more to happen uh, on, on that front, but we are already at the 19 levels when it comes down to on-premise sales. So we're very excited about the opportunity there. And of course, when you look at, at our off-premise business, which is a lion's share, represents a lion's share of our business today, we keep doing exceptionally well to the point that, you know, as, as you've seen in the numbers, Michelob Ultra uh, is one of the top uh, uh, growth brands in the category with no signs of deceleration. Ricardo Marquez, Vice President of Michelob Ultra, thanks so much for taking the time to join us.